So what good is a compressor? Our friend Frank asked the following question. So I'm trying to get the best compression setting for our preacher. He's up and down. I have the up part figured out, but I can't seem to find the correct gain to bring up the low parts. So here's my response. It's a great point, Frank. We cover this topic in depth in our virtual course called the Church Sound Boot Camp. And here's a quick overview. I think there could be a misunderstanding about the role of a compressor. Yes, it can reduce the loud parts of the signal, but it does not actively increase the softer parts of the signal. Now, we can use the compressor to decrease or squish or compress the overall dynamic range. Then we can use the makeup gain in the compressor settings to bring the whole level up. That gives it the appearance of increasing the softer parts. But if there are wild swings between the loud portions, like shouting, and various soft parts of the signal, like talking softly, then a compressor on its own may not deliver the desired outcome. Sometimes a fader move is the best answer. Another option to consider is to use a leveler. You can set a target level that you want the signal to be at, and the unit will try to maintain that target level by pulling back on the loud parts and raising the softer parts. Better quality DSPs include a leveler module, and the folks at Aphex made a device that was very popular in recording studios called the Compeller, which can serve that need. Whenever I'm tuning the sound system for a church, I generally include a leveler module in the DSP, specifically for speakers in the lobby or narthex. A classic issue is where the worship music is really strong in the lobby system, but when the pastor starts to teach, it's too soft, and someone has to go turn up the speakers in the lobby. A leveler can do that job automatically, and carefully adjusted, it does so without being noticeable. Now, I don't recall ever using a leveler for one channel, like a pastor sermon, although it might be a worthwhile experiment. If you don't have a leveler available, you might try patching two compressors in the signal path. The first one's set only to grab the unexpected super loud shouts, and the second one to reduce the overall dynamic range of the signal. Then you can use the makeup gain of the second one to get the signal back up in the mix. That does not actively increase the softer parts, but can at least smooth things out. Having said all that, remember that a compressor can only do so much. It does not take the place of a fader move. With a pastor or worship leader who has wild swings in their level, we still have to anticipate both the loud and soft parts and adjust their channel fader accordingly. There's a teaching module in our Church Sound Bootcamp online course that covers this more in depth with listing examples.